Hi everybody, today we are off-road and off the grid <laughs> and off the grid traveling down Sycamore Canyon <laughs> all the way to the very end. Wait, wait, try again, try again. Hi everybody, today we are off-roading it all the way back down Sycamore Canyon Road way north of Cottonwood, Arizona and we've taken it all the way down to what was the Parsons? Parsons Trail. Parsons Trail. Absolutely stunning. If you've never been here, you must make the venture. But I warn you, <laughs> let's show them what the street looks like, huh? Yeah, the street is pretty amazing. It's pretty rough oh, road it's pretty back rough. here, four wheel drive. Although it is very, very, very beautiful, the road is extremely rocky. Um, the whole way, it's been very, very slow go. So yeah, the road is primarily four-wheel drive, and uh, we, that's what it suggested. Although we decided to be adventurous, and we brought our uh, Kia Soul back here, <laughs> it, which has been doing a great job. Yes. We just got to crawl over all the rocks, nice and slow. But this whole canyon area back here is just so beautiful. And uh, Parsons Trail at the very end of uh, mm. this road. Uh, is 3.7 miles. It goes all the way along the river, uh, all the way to the very end, which is Parsons uh, Creek. And uh, part, yeah, I think it's Parsons, Parsons Creek. Creek at the bottom. Parsons Creek yeah. at the bottom, yeah. Stunning. And you can see there's a cave. Up, if you're staying at the very top of the stairs, the top of the trail where it goes down very, very far deep down into the river, um, there's a cave about eye level if you look straight across the canyon which you were able to get on your camera. I was. My iPhone was not able to pick it up, pick it up very good because of the pixelation. You've got a, um, what do you have, a 13 I, plus? iPhone 13. Yeah, yeah, and so he was able to get pictures of it and actually even see inside of the cave really well. You were actually able to zoom down onto the, Under the, the, river. the river and yeah. that was really beautiful. Yeah. I've got an iPhone 11 and um, mine just wasn't doing it in terms of pixelation and being able to really, really zoom in on the details. Um, but wow, when you come out here, be sure you have a camera with you. We weren't really even sure where we were going. We were just on an adventure. Right. <coughs> I've never been back this far. We waited as far as Tapco back here, which is a, an old slag mine. And uh, it was just a goal to get back here and see what's back here. And now we found out that there's actually a trail that goes down 3.7 miles, Parsons Trail. It's well worth the trip to come out here. Yeah. Just take it slow and easy, no problem. And it took us a long time. We didn't know how far we were going up and down. Very, very rocky um, terrain. We just kept seeing beautiful landscape and we just decided to keep going because it's like panoramic mountains and beauty in every direction. But we really had no idea what was at the end of the trail. We were just gonna go for a drive and kind of spend our day doing that. Mm -hmm. But when we got there, it was like magnificent. I mean, as beautiful as Sedona or any other area, it was just, it opened up wide in the energy there. Standing at the top of the trail, at the top of the stairs where you're looking down over the canyon, the river, the cave, and this beautiful expanse. I mean, I told TJ, I go, let's manifest something right here because this is a power spot. It is so powerful. You're going Absolutely, to love yeah. it there. So, so beautiful back here. Yeah. Quiet. You can gather your thoughts back here. Mm. I mean, it's just uh, amazing. And there's traffic back here, minimal traffic. You might see one truck, one car back here every hour, if yeah. not even <laughs> yeah. that. So don't worry about being yeah. stranded. There's always somebody back here to help. Eventually. Uh, but it, it's primarily a four wheel drive area. And uh, I would, you know. How I'd long do you think it took us to get out here? Uh, at least an hour. At a, least. A good solid hour. On the dirt here. road. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm so. just gonna climb, maybe I should, maybe I can do a panoramic here. Um, I'm just gonna just turn the camera around here. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna turn it around here so you can see some of the beauty that we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, look how gorgeous this is. And this isn't even the top of the trailhead. Where I was talking about at the top of the canyon, it's a thousand times more beautiful. So this is, uh, this was well worth it. If you are looking for a little place to go explore, you like to get off the beaten path, you, you want to do a little trailblazing. Um, if my little yellow Kia can make it, no matter what you drive, you'll be able to make it too. I guarantee it. <laughs> and, there, and there is camping back here, by the way. Yeah. If you can find a spot that's level ground, 
probably up around the pass area where we came in. Uh, about two and a half miles back, we actually found a tent on the ground out there. So uh, there is- In the middle of nowhere, yeah. Middle of nowhere, yeah. So it's, it's very cool. If you want to get away from everything in the city and just want to come back and just chill, uh, you will be in nature. There's everything back here. Coyotes, bobcat, uh, mountain lion, it's back here. So, and when we first came back this way, what was the first place that you took me to before we continued going? Oh, the, fir the first place we took, uh, we stopped at was the Tapco Lower River Run. And uh, it's just a very lazy, slow stream. It's uh, Arizona State Park. So you can actually go down there. You pay a little fee to park down in there, but there's picnic tables down there. Yeah. You can just chill out and relax. It's a very popular spot in the summer. Yeah. Not so much in the winter. But. Like if you have little ones, they have loan programs. Like you just actually grab one. It's on your honor. Yeah. Put a little life jacket on your kids. Yeah. Um, picnic tables, sandy beaches. Um, just a little bit though is very, very, very private. At yeah. least today. Today we were the only ones there. I yeah. imagine it yeah. would be packed. Great, great <laughs> Kayaking, great kayaking, uh, stand up paddle boarding. Uh, there's a lot of small boat. You can take your small boat in there. No, no power boats or anything, but you can take a, a small boat with a trolling motor if you want to go fishing. The fishing's good mm -hmm. back in there too. So lots of beautiful uh, activity back there. Uh, just great, great place to hang out. So honey, if they were going to try to find us, the first place to go would be aiming that direction, north of Cottonwood. Right. You right? want to, you want to take Tuzigoot Road. And as soon as you cross the bridge, you'll see Tapco, Lower Tapco Mine. You turn uh, turn left on that road and come back about four and a half miles, and then it turns to dirt road. It's all paved up until that point, and then it's dirt road after that, and then it's about another three and a half, four miles back to uh, Parsons Canyon, which is the end of Sycamore Canyon Road. Yeah, and it's part of its federal land. Part of it is. Yep, and then it looks like there might be some ranches back there, but we didn't see any structures whatsoever. There's no houses, there's no buildings, there's no restaurants, there's no bathrooms, okay? Mm -hmm. So you know when you're heading out this direction, bring whatever those things are that be you may need. prepared. And bring your own little trash can. Don't leave any litter behind. This is a beautiful, pristine area. and um, Pack it in, pack it out. <laughs> that's right that's right <laughs> all right all right you guys well you know we just wanted to share the beauty today we're feeling very energized by this majestic super highly potent high vibrational beautiful magnificent area and uh, share a little bit of our adventure with you today and encourage you to make some of your own adventures or come on out here and give this a shot this is totally worth the trip Amen. <laughs> it is. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Next adventure. <laughs>